Hey, Tribe. Okay, so I don't know what the hell is going on, but you know, the comics are comic and it's the full moon, so I'm that's what I'm going to attribute it to because they have nothing else better to do. So, <clears throat> I did all of this, okay, but I'm going to reiterate and I'm going to revise. Uh, so, when we got, okay, first let me get, let me get, let me get move these. So, alright, so when it came to this offer, whoever this person is that is extra triggered about you collective, this person could be going through some type of health issues right now, whatever they were expecting to get, they're not getting with the expectation in reverse, but they're up to no good. Okay, still, with the Seven of Swords here, all right, and the Ten of Swords, it's like, even though this person could be, like, literally on their deathbed, they are still trying to devise a plan on how to take you down, okay, with the Eight of Wands coming out here after the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Lover's card. So I feel like this person feels like, because you and this person, you guys came out as a match. Mature man, I mean, mature woman, mature man, right? Then... Okay, I'm going to get over here soon. But in in the, the white card deck, we have You Never Missed the Water. That was at the back of I'm trying to get pregnant or impregnate you to keep you in my life. So whoever this person is, they're trying to get pregnant by this mature man so that they can stay around because I guess this person was with this. It ain't tricking if you got it. They lying. I feel like this mature man was like tricking on this person at one point in time. <laughs> Right, and this person was trying to like trap this mature man just for gain. All right, but we had that in part one. The back of the deck behind that, we have you never miss the water till the well went dry, and we have twin flame. So I feel like for some of you, this could be your twin flame. Okay, this could have been a divine union that this person infiltrated. Okay, just for money. It was not about any kind of love. There's literally zero cup cards on the board okay except for the king of cups which we're gonna get to in a second okay it's literally like none none <laughs> it's just, just like none anyway when it got to when we got to this chasing now whoever this person is they were chasing some type of sudden wealth, which they're not getting because it's in reverse, expectations in reverse, whatever they were expecting is, is not coming, okay? And now they're sitting here in their head with this thoughts card. We had the death card that came out, all right? And then we had the judgment, all right? Because this person did not realize that you're very heavily protected, okay? And they did something. You could have been, for some of you, you could have been married, Okay, and for others of you, you were just in a high level commitment with someone that was your match. Okay, I don't think things were perfect with you and this person, but I feel like this person was like the closest person to someone that you may have wanted to grow old with or something like that. Okay, we got the devil out here, Capricorn energy, um, Scorpio energy. There's a lot of Scorpio and Leo energy, heavy Scorpio, Leo in this reading. There's also Gemini and Capricorn and Libra with the justice card that we got down here. So this person is like, <clears throat> whoever this person is that's chasing or was chasing sudden wealth, that's now going through judgment for trying to like infiltrate a twin flame situation or a divine um, partnership. This person is having a lot of health issues now. Okay, with the devil card, we have this loneliness. This person is in a hospital room or in a room, but they got an IV over here. You get what I'm saying? So, ooh, excuse me. This person is going through some type of health issue right now, and it's like they're dependent on somebody. They're feeling hopeless. They're feeling powerless to what's going on because they did too much, and they're still trying to do a lot. We got the justice here. So I feel like this person realizes that this is their karma, okay? Because it's cause and effect, all right? On a person that was just very loving, 
king of cups, male or female. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, if somebody is full of love, you got to know that that person got some type of connection with God because God is love. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't know what, honestly, guys, I really don't know what happened to that. that I literally was about to stop recording and then my phone was on like home screen. I don't know what the hell. I couldn't find the video. The video was absolutely gone. Okay. So then <clears throat> we had, which one came out first? Legal issues came out first. So somebody here is going through some legal issues here. We had given money. So there was definitely, I feel like this, this mature man was definitely, um, helping this person out at some point in time, they were giving them money. And I feel like whoever this was that was getting money was taking advantage because they didn't really care about this person. They just wanted their money. They wanted to trap this person for some type of gain here, which is why we have gain and confinement. Okay. But that's, that's in um, part one. We got tripping on you. This person is tripping on you and confused because of whatever they tried to do. Right. <clears throat> this karmic that's moving in silence. They were trying to get some type of jackpot here with the sudden wealth in reverse. They were trying to ha get some type of unexpected money from this person. Moves in silence, okay? Fake smiles. It was uh, it was all lies, all right? Then we have family issues. This person is digging for some type of information on you to, like, I guess, to throw in the game here somewhere. I don't know. It's like this person is desperate, all right? Then we have spiritual hater. And then we had shine. Your light irritates their demons. Unfazed came out. Um, this is you guys. I feel like you guys, this came out with head in the clouds. So I feel like you're not paying attention to any of this that's going on. I feel like you guys are just focused on whatever you have going on, whether that's work, whether that's your kids, whether that whatever it is that you have going on outside of this situation. I feel like that's where your focus is right now. Yeah, and then we got fake flexing, right? It ain't tricking if you got it. They lying. So somebody here was lying. I feel like this mature man was trying to fake flex with whoever this person is. And this person was like, oh, oh, you got it like that? Okay, so then I want it. You understand? And I feel like that's that's what started happening. Okay? And then we have Unbothered that came out in reverse. So I feel like whoever this person is that's chasing or, or extra triggered by you collective... They're pretending not to be bothered, but they're very, but they're very much bothered. Meanwhile, I feel like you're actually unfazed by this whole situation because you're protected, and you know you're protected. And then we had child services. Now, in the original video, I had said this person could be going through some type of child, um, and then this card came out. So that was where I left that. <clears throat> but um, I feel like this person is getting it from every angle. Like, they're getting hit with karma from every angle, okay? They have legal issues going on. They have money issues. They have health issues. They have child service issues. This person just got issues, okay? They got mental health issues as well, all right? And then for the outcome, we had temperance, the king of wands reverse, and the five of cups reverse. Literally, the king of cups and the five of cups are the only two cup cards in this whole spread the only two this is just to show you how not about love this 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 situation was between whoever this person is that's triggered and this mature man okay but with the temperance card coming out um sagittarius energy you could be an earth angel which would make very much sense right now because of everything that this person is going through for whatever they were trying to send it you and they're still trying to send it with this eight of wands and this seven of swords here. It's like this person, they don't, they don't, a hard head make a soft ass. Okay. But <clears throat> I feel like you're definitely an earth angel, whoever you are, whoever this is resonating with. And there's somebody, there's, this person is going to continue lying. All right. Yeah. They're going to continue lying about you, but it's like, It's not gonna make a difference. I honestly feel like your 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 spirit team is on the job when it comes to making sure your balance and making sure you maintain your inner peace collective. Okay, 
Because whoever this person is, they're definitely chasing your person and they're trying to like impregnate them or get pregnant by them. Okay? They're talking shit about you. They could be talking shit about this person because as, as I said, there's no love here. This person never loved it. This person, they just loved what they could do for them. Okay? But it's like they want to get pregnant for them so that they could keep mooching from them. That's all they want. It's like, who? Like, bro, I can't. You want to get pregnant? Not to, for love, but just to keep somebody hooked in regards of money. So it's like, okay, well, if you're not going to give me money willingly, you're going to have to pay for this baby type energy, right? You're going to have to give me child support, right? <clears throat> but whoever this is, it's like this person likes to... It's, they're all about pleasure, and we already had paying for pleasure out here. So in a sense, this person is paying a big price for pleasure, right? The pleasure that they they paying for is the money that they wanted and quite possibly some type of a lustful energy. But I don't feel like, I feel like it's more the money, right? And whoever this person is, they're a pleasure seeker, okay, that's going through some type of changes. And I had mentioned, um, I don't know if I mentioned that in part one or the first the first part two, okay? But I did mention that there was, like, somebody had, like, an angel and devil sitting on their shoulder, and then this card came out. So, I mean, I mean, I just don't have to take my word for it. But if, you, if you've if you been rocking with me, you already know how these cards come out when I say what I got to say. So, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, at the back of <clears throat> this deck, we had death, and then we had death come out here. And then we had curse which was behind hesitation, okay? Because now this person is sitting here trying to figure out if they made the right decision by coming after you. But I feel like, like I said in the beginning, this person has like a devil and an angel on each shoulder and they listen to the devil more, okay? Because that's the that's the vibration, that's the frequency that they, they vibrate at, all right? Behind hesitation, we have curse, stress, mask, because they were fake. They would, like, like I said, they never liked... Or they never cared for or they never loved whoever this person was that was helping them. Whoever this person is that was connected to you. They never cared for this person. They, but they just did what they had to do in order to get what they needed from them, right? And now they sick. Okay? Friendship. Yeah. This person collaborated with some group of people to do something here towards you. And now they sitting like, we got, come on now. We got death, we got the curse, we got death again, and we have concern. So somebody is definitely thinking that, that, that things could be coming to an end very soon for them, okay? Because they messed with the wrong one here, all right? I'm so mad about losing that video, guys. Y'all don't even know, because I'm, I'm, I just don't understand. How does a video disappear? How, Sway? But anyway, yes, you have a spiritual hater that hates on your shine, okay, that is going through a bunch of legal issues and tripping on you because whatever they tried to do to you, they they were unsuccessful, all right? Like I said, I feel like this, this is piggybacking off of the, the reading from yesterday because that one... It was kind of like the same energy. Somebody was doing dark sorcery and it was a big fail. <laughs> okay? And this person was going through karma as well. So, excuse me. I'm going to leave it here. If it resonates with you guys, I hope it gave you some insight. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Later.